Hi everyone, we now learn about the product rule for differentiation. Put simply, we're about to learn how to differentiate two functions that are being multiplied together. And by the end of this tutorial, we'll have no trouble differentiating each of the two functions that we see here. But to get us started, let's learn the formula. The product rule states that if a function f of x is equal to the product of two functions, so I'll say u of x times v of x, then its derivative f dash of x is equal to the derivative of u, so that's u dash of x, times v of x plus u of x times the derivative of v of x. And I'll go ahead and box that. Do make a note of it. This is the product rule for differentiation. Now let's not waste time and see right away how to use it to differentiate the first function we have here. Looking at f of x, we can see that this is a product of two functions. Indeed, we can see that we have x squared, which I'll go ahead and call u of x, which is multiplying sine of x, which I'll go ahead and call v of x. Consequently, to differentiate this, we need to use the product rule that we have here. And so making a note of the fact that u of x equals to x squared, and therefore u dash of x equals to 2x, as well as the fact that v of x equals to sine of x, and therefore v dash of x equals to cosine of x, we can go ahead and use the product rule that we have here and state that f dash of x, the derivative function, is equal to u dash of x times v of x plus u of x times v dash of x. And now, replacing u and v as well as u dash and v dash by the functions we have here, we'll find the derivative. So let's go ahead. We have u dash, which is 2x, that's 2x, times v of x, which is sine of x. So I write that, that's sine of x, plus u of x, which is x squared, that's x squared, times v dash of x, which is cosine of x. That's cosine of x. And since this can't be simplified any further, we can go ahead and say that we're done and that f dash of x is equal to the expression that we have here. In other words, we've just differentiated this function using the product rule. Let's look at the second example. We have y, which is equal to 3x plus 1 times ln of x. Well, once more, we're dealing with a product of two functions. And if we go ahead and call this 3x plus 1 u of x, and this ln of x v of x, then we can use the result we have here to find the derivative. But first, let's make a note of these two functions as well as their derivatives. So that's u of x, which equals to 3x plus 1, and therefore u dash of x equals to 3, and v of x, which equals to ln of x, and therefore v dash of x, which equals to 1 over x. Now, using the product rule, we can go ahead and state that dy dx, that's the derivative, equals to u dash of x times v of x, plus u of x times v dash of x. And now, just as in the previous example, all we have to do is replace u and v as well as u dash and v dash by the functions that we have here. In other words, we can now state that this equals to u dash, which is 3, that's 3 there, times v or v of x, which is ln of x. So I write that, that's 3 times ln of x, plus u of x, which is 3x plus 1, and careful, because u of x has more than one term, make sure to write it inside a pair of parentheses. So that's 3x plus 1 in parentheses times v dash of x, which is 1 over x. So I write that there. That's 1 over x. Finally, multiplying this 3x plus 1 and this 1 over x, we can state that the derivative dy dx is equal to 3 times ln of x plus 3x plus 1 over x. And that's the final answer. And so that's how we can differentiate a product of two functions using the product rule. And that's it for this tutorial.